So Primo Primer starts out purple. And it really settles a lot. So this has been sitting around for a few days. And you can see at the bottom where the primer is settled. And you need to get that stirred up. There's a couple of BBs in there that come with it. They're about that big. <clears throat> but I found this really cool tool at um, Ikea. It's got these little ball bearings on the end. They're plastic. And they're really good for stirring up the bottom. So what I do is just give it a good, you know, just kind of work some different sections of it. So I can start getting that into the mix of water. And this is mixed one part of primer to five parts of water, just like bullseye. And the really good benefit about using Primo is that when it goes on, it's a very wet kiln wash. So it looks really sloppy, but when it dries, it doesn't have any brush strokes, and it's really smooth on the back of your pieces. <clears throat> so I get all of the stuff as much as I can off. This is something you're going to have to mix. I try to mix what I'm going to use, and it just takes some time to figure out how much you're going to need for each project. So I'm going to do it on a small shelf that I have here ready. It's already been cleaned. So I'm just kind of mixing it up. Still got some sticky spots on the bottom. It's kind of gummy. Um, once I'm sure that all of those have been moved, and I know all of the primer is being mixed into the water, and so that I can just kind of mix it up. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that it's mixed up really well. For primer, for Primo primer, I like to use foam craft brushes uh, rather than the standard high K brushes, I think that's how you pronounce it, um, because they don't leave hairs behind, and you can really sop up quite a bit. So you really have to mix this every time you apply it. So you get it mixed up real well, and you make sure that there's nothing left, and you just put it on in the same pattern that you would the bullseye primer, and I put five coats on, but the trick with this is that I dry it in between with a hair dryer. Just a simple hair dryer. I get it mixed up. And you see how wet that is and it leaves puddles. Let it dry off a little bit. It gets relatively quick. And then I get a good drying. Primo is one of those that you have to uh, scrape off every time. It's a one-time use, but I do that with all my shelves anyway. It's one of the things that I get to control, and I can be sure that it's got a good fresh coat of kiln wash on them. Um, I just like to do it that way. It's easier to keep them clean. You just gently let the brush pull. Get a little more on every time. And it goes on really wet, and it puddles. It gives you a nice glossy surface. You can notice there's a pretty good puddle here, so I'm going to let that dry a little bit and kind of work my way towards it. My hair dryer isn't going to replace um, letting it dry overnight or putting it in a kiln uh, up to 500 degrees, ramp it up to 500 and hold it for 20 minutes. That will cure your shelf and then you can use it immediately after it's cooled and you can put your glass on it. Uh, but of course you want to wait until it cools. I like to get kiln wash on every stroke pretty much. You might see me fudge once or twice. One of the things about using hair dryers as it warms up the shelf, the kiln wash will go on 
smoother and will help to dry it quicker too. up nice and good make sure it's good and mixed it really settles fast and it's not difficult to work with once you've done it a couple times See that I'm starting a little bit higher than straight on it because it helps to dry the puddles out a little bit and keep it from getting any ripples or any textures that you really don't want on the back of your piece when you're firing. The last coat will be a diagonal. Notice that it's nice and wet here, and when it dries, it's going to have a nice, smooth texture. While this is drying, you can see that it's still settling. I'm going to just go ahead and put this away because I'm done with it. Let this dry a little bit before I finish it. And that is all you need for Primo. This is a really cool tool. I think it was like five bucks. There you go. Let it dry overnight or put it in your kiln and ramp it up to 500 degrees. Hold it for 20 minutes. Uh, you want to vent your kiln while it's ramping uh, and drying out. 20 minutes, shut it off. When it cools, it's ready to go.